So as the pre-spawn approaches, one of the best baits out there to cover water and catch fish is a crankbait. And so what I want to do in today's video is break down the crankbaits that I'm going to throw from this winter to spring transition like we have right now, going all the way up until just before the fish spawn. So I'm going to break down all the different crankbaits I throw. It's going to help you guys catch more fish and know what baits you should be throwing. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss this video. You know, probably one of the, my favorite tournaments that I've ever watched with guys throw crankbaits is Kevin Van Dam. The dude was a legend. When he fished Grand Lake, he would go into shallow pockets this time of year in the spring when that water temp, when those fish were getting ready to spawn, and he would just crank everything in the back of these shallow pockets. You know, throw in these smaller square bills. This is a, a six cent square bill. I'll have a link down below as always. And what he would do is he would just start on one side of the pocket and crank all the shallow rock coming into the pocket, crank the middle of the pockets, because what he's looking for is you get big females that are staging off the bank a little bit. So when you get into those shallow pockets, you can really just make precise casts down through the entire pocket and try to break down and see if there's any roaming fish on a stick, on a stump anywhere that those fish might be inside of those shallow areas and those are the fish that a lot of people miss because they're too busy trying to get up shallow and fish the docks and fish all the other stuff that's in the pocket and so starting on one side of the pocket cranking any shallow rock because this time of year what's beautiful is as you get these sunny days rock and wood warm up extremely fast specifically rock and so those fish will gravitate up super super shallow on that rock to where you can't really see them when you're scoping because they're going to be in that less than five feet of water, which makes it really tough to scope them. And so getting on those banks, those banks that are warming, your hard clay banks, your rocky banks, and just casting on those transitional areas that are going back into those pockets are gonna be how you catch some bags this time of year. If that's your favorite style of fishing, shallow, these crankbaits are gonna play huge especially like I just talked about when you get into those pockets like Kevin Van Dam does because now you can cover a lot of water and really maximize your fishing time. Spend less time looking for fish and spend more time fishing in those areas that you know the fish are coming to. So probably everybody's favorite style of cranking is going to be that shallow cranking. Once that water temp starts to get into the 50s, those fish are getting back to get where they're going to spawn. Now you're looking for your shallow points. Now you're looking for your isolated rocks, your stumps, your cranking grass. That's where these baits are really going to start to come in handy. This is your square bill style rod. This is your, your finesse wiggle wart style rod, your smaller build crank baits. Something that's going to run in that two to eight foot range, you know. And that's when I'm going to start to get up shallow. You can crank docks you can crank down the edge of of points that's where this stuff is really gonna play so most of you guys right now are dealing with water temps in that 45 to 50 range it doesn't matter where you are across the country unless you're like up in minnesota then in which case your water's probably still frozen but as soon as it thaws off baits like this are going to play immensely in your arsenal and i'm going to talk about the different places that i really like to throw these crank baits because in the south huge deal cranking hard spots cranking brush piles cranking riprap it is all applicable no matter where you're at and so let's start with 45 to 50 degree water as those fish are starting to get up closer and thinking about transitioning from winter to pre-spawn these deeper crankbaits are going to play more in your arsenal uh, this is a c series by six cents the dt series is also really really good the six cents c i don't even know what it is i'll have all my favorite crankbaits linked down below but for all intensive purposes, let's talk about these deeper style crankbaits and where I'm going to throw them this time of year. It's going to be your hard spots, your deep points, your rocky cry, your rock piles, your brush piles. That's where these baits are going to play right now because the fish right now are honestly grouping up to get ready to make their pushes up shallow. So that's what you want to look for. You want to look for those deeper areas that are directly in line with your shallower bays. Places those fish can set up that are still main lake but not way out in the main lake. And cranking is a great way to fire those fish up because a lot of times they get into this hunkered down mode where they're just all kind of hanging out. And when you pull a big plug through there, what's going to happen is you're going to bounce it off fish. You're going to bounce it off the rocks. You're going to bounce it off the tips of the brush pile and that's going to trigger those fish and that's how you get a school fired up especially right now and so that's why i like this c10 to a c15 that 15 pretty much that 20 to 10 foot range because that's where those fish are going to stage up at and that's what's going to be really really important and i'll have the gear that i like to throw these on linked down below i like to throw these on a cranking style rod I like a 711 medium heavy moderate action arc invoker tour series cranking rod a 6 3 to 1 gear ratio reel 
your 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon. Something that I can make a long cast to get right down on top of those fish and really be dredging the bottom because I'm really trying to fire those fish up with this bait. It also works really good if you're just trying to figure out where these fish are setting up at on ledges, where they're trying to set up on a long point, something like that where you can cover that water. And I'm gonna throw that up until that water hits that 53 range you know you'll still have your fish staging offshore and you'll still be able to find fish offshore but as they start to get closer once that water starts to get you know your your nighttime temps start to get into the 50s that's when i'm going to start putting this down that's when i'm going to start picking up some of these other baits so the c10 and the c15 those deeper style plugs work really good for you southern guys that are fishing your deeper brush piles your deeper hard spots for you northern guys where your fish don't go really deep your wiggle wart style crankbaits are going to play huge and that's for cranking the banks cranking your your 45 degree banks you know your your points and this is the six cents i can't even think of the name of it right now i'll have it linked down below but it's basically your wiggle wart style crankbait it's going to have that really wide hunting action runs to about 11 12 feet so i can bomb it down these banks these transition banks your bluff ends something like that where i can crank this down and get a reaction off those rock piles i love it for spotted bass for largemouth i'm here in north carolina i've been killing spotted bass on this bait lately but that's what this bait's going to be good for is fishing your points your rocky transition banks and for you northern guys and your midwest guys that's what this bait is going to be really really good for and this bait is going to be really really good in that 45 to 50 degree water temp you can even fish it as soon as that ice comes off this bait is still going to play but as soon as that water starts to warm up i'm going to start putting this down once those fish start to get shallower but this is a great bait when those fish are transitioning into and out of those spawning areas and so these baits are going to play all the way up until those fish are in their post spawn because once those fish are post spawn you know you'll find that, that sweet spot in the middle where fish are on beds so you're not going to be cranking as much but out as the post spawn starts you're going to have your shad spawns and you're going to have your fish that are starting to feed back up so i'll transition from my cross style colors to more of my shad style colors like this 4k shad i believe this one is your shad style colors because that's what those fish are going to be doing as soon as they get off the beds and then you basically just take this entire transition that we just talked about cranking those hard spots out deep cranking your brush cranking your pre-spawn areas the points the transition banks coming in all the way to the back of the pockets and now you basically just follow that exact same pattern as those fish start to go out because the areas that those fish use in the pre-spawn they're also going to use in the post-spawn and they're going to group up just as good in those areas so you basically once the spawn starts or once you start to get into this pre-spawn you can pick a crankbait up and never put it down you know until those fish get on beds and then you have to bed fish or sight fish for them you can still go crank around in other areas, but you literally just follow them in and then you follow them back out. All you have to do is change your colors and basically Bob's your uncle. You're still gonna be able to do the exact same thing. So understanding that transition, understanding the water temps, it's gonna be key. Those fish are gonna spawn up until that water gets to about 70. You know, on a lot of your lakes, that mid 60s is where they really start to lock on. And then after that is over, that's when those fish are going to start to move back out. And you basically just follow them back out, follow that same pattern. You might have to back off a little bit on those rocky points, but it's going to be the same concept. So some of my favorite rods and reels that I like to throw when I'm cranking is I basically have two that I use. They're both Invoker Tour Series rods by Arc. One is a 7.2 medium moderate action, which is just a very parabolic bend rod. I will also throw it in the 6.8 medium heavy if I'm fishing around cover where I'm fishing really really shallow and then it's the same exact model style I think it's a medium heavy instead of a medium those are the two that I like when I'm fishing smaller crankbaits or I'm fishing around cover when I'm getting out deep and I'm throwing those deeper style crankbaits that's when I'm going to go to that 711 medium heavy moderate action which is going to allow me to really bomb those casts with those crankbaits to cover the most water and to get the most diving depth out of those crankbaits that's going to be key when you get to those deeper diving crankbaits the longer the cast the better your crankbait is going to get down deeper so that's what you really have to pay attention to when it gets into those but the gear ratios if I'm winding crankbaits, pretty much I always stay with a 6-4 to 1 gear ratio. I might go to a 7 to 1 if I'm cranking around cover, super shallow, where I'm really burning it, trying to deflect it off stuff. But that's what those crankbaits are going to be really, really good for this time of year. So if you're not sure what to pick up and your water temp is 45, pick up a crankbait. Pick up a crankbait because it's going to allow you to figure out where, what areas of the lake those fish are using, getting on your steeper banks when it's colder, and transitioning into your shallower, flatter banks, the warmer it gets. So for more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button to follow on with the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.